so welcome back to Failed Mascots. This is part two. Failed Mascots was something I did a couple weeks ago. If you want to watch part one, then you have to leave now. Just leave. Sorry, I'll wait. Okay. This is basically kind of one of those things where we reflect upon different companies trying to make a mascot as successful as Mario, Sonic, or many others. And the first time I did this, it was mainly games from the early 90s. Today, we're going to be looking at some of those, but also stuff on the N64, Sega Saturn, 32X, and PS1. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got some good ones. In fact, there are so many attempts at making mascots that I'm likely not even going to be able to cover all of them. And I have many that will not be in any way. Uh, I probably have to skip some because there's just too many. But I'll tell you what, let me start with one that I showed a little bit of. I don't know why there's a beta version of this too, but anyway, this is, um, I think I showed a little bit of this on the stream in the form of a video last time. This was one that I rented and I thought I liked when I was a kid, but I was sick, so what the fuck did I know? We'll start with some of the Super Nintendo games and then we'll move over to you know the the ones that happened in the era of Mario 64 which is a whole different ball game God I I don't know what I saw in this game other than it was small dude in large world Yeah it's just a dude who throws nails at bees That jump animation is just great I love the extended arms I mean, the mascot thing is basically coming back. You have people trying to do new things. But Harley, however... No one's trying to do Harley. This this type of mascot is just long dead. Oh, I have a jetpack. The fuck? I guess I can see why I like this. It's not that bad. Did I win? How do we differentiate between a mascot and just a unique character? I'm sure there's a lot of nuance here that I'm missing when I say failed mascots. So that's going to be up to you to determine. I'm just going to play the games, and then you can take a look and see what you think. Some of these games are pretty good. The failed mascot angle is only that they didn't really become, like, huge. Like, Mario, Sonic, still happening. People see Banjo-Kazooie and Smash, they lose their shit. You know, Hurley, not so much. Even good games, like Ristar. You know, you might have, like, a cult following for a game like that, but it's not going to be on the same level as Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie Soup. Ooh. Yeah, not a not a bad game. This is a perfect SNES rental. Um, I can't imagine having spent like sixty dollars, which in today's equivalent is about four hundred and thirty-seven U.S. dollars. Um, really not good controls when it comes to turning left and right. It takes hardly a second to turn left from turning right, so not very tight controls in that respect. So yeah, not not all that great. In fact. Ugh. Gonna go ahead and pass on this one for now. So that was Harley. Um, why don't we take a look at Vector Man? Now I've never played Vector Man, but I've I remember seeing advertisements, and I was like, "Oh my god, the graphics! Why is Vector Man so cool looking?" And then, sadly, considering I didn't have Sega when I was young, I couldn't play it, because I, I... I tried to, and there was not a Super Nintendo version. Unless there was. There wasn't, right? It's 2049, and Earth's cities, forests, and ice caps are fouled with toxic sludge. Wait a minute. Blade Runner? 
2049? Humanity has escaped to the stars, leaving mechanical ore bots to clean up. Well, this is actually very similar to the plot of Blade Runner. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and go through this. There's a lot of lore early on. Yo, these graphics, though. So again, the, the failed mascot moniker is a little harsh. The games could be good. It could have even gotten a sequel or two. But it's still here, just because it's easier to call something a failed mascot. Um, considering, too, like Mario, Sonic, and all those, that, those flags look amazing. Uh, this did get a sequel. But considering the stuff that's still around, the mascots that we still know today... You know, there's a couple. Not a lot of these ones survive, though. This kind of reminds me of Donkey Kong Country in the way the visuals become a major talking point. And then the gameplay is actually pretty good to boot. Really, really smooth controls. Really nice animations. This is this is great. I would have loved this if I had a Sega. Yeah, it's hard, but that was my fault. Like I'm. I, Anything with the TVs? I wonder if you can get upgrades. Keep shooting the TVs, Vin? Okay. Oh, okay. It's HP in them. And them, their TVs. Seems to be a lot of secrets, kind of like... Sanic, in some ways. Like, you have these big levels. Just secrets all over the place. Different winding paths. Underneath, above. Just to your left. It's cool. Uh, camera's a little nauseating. It goes very quick. It goes fast. But that also has to do with the fact that you're kind of... Your, your character's a little bigger than your average platformer character, I think. I'm just spitballing here, but anyway, um... Oh, I got a different weapon. And I'm dead. Okay, it turns out I'm really bad at Vector Man, but that game is legit, and I think I would have loved that as a kid, and I would have loved that way more than Harley's humongous asshole. Humongous gaping... Anyway. Um, why don't we now take a look at something I liked. This is a little different. This is N64. This is 1998. We are graduating to the big times. This is Gex. Now, playing Gex now, maybe not as good as I remember it. But this is Gex 64. There was a, a PS1 Gex. I don't know if they were exactly the same, but... Uh, really... It's a really zoomed out camera. So the idea between uh, behind Gex was that he was a smart ass. And it was just movies and TV references. And Dana Gould, the comedian, did all the voice lines. The PS1 version's better. Okay, good to know. This is the one I played. Smell Razor, so... Lip of the yeah. tongue. <laughs> Hub World into this. 
Second controller issues. Hang on. Uh, weird. There's some like weird rubber banding on this controller. I don't know what's going on here. Try something. Still kind of fucked. Strange. All right. Like, it doesn't go up. It's, like, overly sensitive. That's weird. Uh, okay, survive the haunted mansion. Let's do that one. Beat the Matterhorn. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Something's weird with these controls. I don't know if it's the actual N64... Uh, be, you know, being stupid. The real, actual N64. Or if this game just had strange analog controls, I'm not really sure. Elvis lives. Okay. So yeah, it's your typical collectathon with themed missions more like Mario 64 than Banjo-Kazooie. It said evil lives? Oh, I thought it said Elvis. <laughs> uh, this game is... You know, again, I really like this. It was a good rental. That's right. Geckos can climb walls. Why is it that my... Hang on a minute. I see what the problem is now. If I move the control stick a little bit... It... Hang on a minute. If I move it a little bit... It goes in the opposite direction. What the fuck is going on? Welcome Why am I going reverse now? House. Uh... This is it. This is an issue that I've had... ...before. Oh god, it's reverse again. Fucking hell, man. It's just a second. Sorry about this, everybody. These things happen. So, you know, them N64s, they get old, what can I say? Alright, that's much better. Yeah, no, it's just, you know, them legit N64s, it's just the sticks get a little crusty, what can I say? It's good now. Oh yeah, you could bounce on the tail. Now, note how small Gex is, or rather how far the camera is from Gex. Red Ram, Red Ram! <sighs> Cool reference, bro. This is just references the game. It's like watching a Vine Saw stream. But yeah, no, the camera definitely hurts a little bit, and uh, it's it, you know you can if you compare this directly to Banjo Kazooie, you'll see why that game just is so much more pleasing to play and look at. But you know, for a game that. You know, you might rent for a weekend. Not bad. Gex had a couple games. Gex was not a one-time thing. In fact, I liked Gex. I was like, oh, this is a cool mascot. I wanna... I want to like Gex more. Why is George Washington covered in blood? Three games, two in 3D. Whip and tongue and slurp your way to victory. Reminds me of Halloween at Rip Taylor's. Was that a fucking Johnny Carson impression? Reminds me of Halloween at Rip Taylor's. 
I, I love these references that, you know, kids are inevitably going to be playing this game and be like, Who's Rip Taylor? Like, they're not gonna know what that impression was. I don't even know who Rip Taylor is. I know Rip Torn, I know don't Rip... career advice from Joe Piscopo. Joe Piscopo references now? Jesus. He was in Star Trek. Just getting my kicks. Okay, that was a James Bond reference. Yeah, I know Rip Taylor, uh, no, I don't know Rip Taylor, I know Rip Torn. There's another Rip. Rip Van Winkle, I know that dude. Why do they turn into hockey masks? I thought we were hockey pants! Don't take career advice from He was Joe flamboyant. Pistol. He wore glittery, glittery jackets and threw confetti. Wasn't that Rip Van Winkle? Was the dude with the big mustache? He was on Jackass at one point. Yeah, he was on Jackass. Okay, so then we've we've discovered it. That's the guy, yeah. I know who you're talking about now. Okay. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> well, I did one full thing. Not as good as I remember it. Maybe the PS1 version was a lot better. I don't know. People were telling me the PS1 version was better, so... Maybe. Password is five. Um, he had more voice lines in the PS1 version. Well, that can't surely that can't be the only reason why it's better. Illigex Island. Um, someone said there's a Titanic level, which I don't remember, but. Look at that 211 in progress, baby. Austin Powers. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> there are a huge chunk of levels that aren't in the N64 version. PS1 version had an actual intro. Oh, Jesus, they really skimped out. Damn. What's up, Mac? Damn. What's up, Mac? I'm getting, like, fucking Bubsy 3D flashbacks from this music. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, the concept is cool. I, I liked this way better when I was younger, but... You can see all these different levels have their own unique style, and I like that. It's a really cool idea for a platformer. I'd say that this is probably one of... The failed mascots that I like the most, despite it having kind of not great stuff in it. Wabbit season. Open. Now I'm a wabbit. This is great value FUD. America's Choice FUD. And nice brand bunny. It's a hard game to stop playing, just because you never know what you're going to find around the corner. Yeah, that was alright. It's just alright. But it was nice to revisit Gex for a little bit. And then, the other... Hang on a minute.
just a second here. I think we have a missing thing. Weird, it's not missing. That's really interesting. How the fuck do I load croc? Croc doesn't load. Yeah, croc does not load, sadly. That's unfortunate. Um, it's in a really weird format. So I tried. That's a crock of shit. Couldn't just put it in the N64. I tried. Didn't work. So we'll try something else. Uh, let's see. Punky Skunk? I've never even heard of this one. Croc is PS1. I know, I know. That's, that's the one I couldn't load. You got croc blocked. Sorry, everybody. Chill out. All right. Oh, it's the skunk gas. It's the bad skunk gas. I get it. Does he use bad smell air to overcome his, his foes? I wonder. Are you sure you didn't have the PC version of Croc? I can't tell now. Yo. So this is 1998. Punky, are you sure you want to do this? You bet! I can't stand it. Badlers destroy- it's an Adler, but it's bad. He's out of control, I must stop him. I know you're strong, but you can't fight them alone. There are way too many bad guys. Do we not have music for this section? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, this is not good. Was that almost the yeah. Flintstones theme? Yeah. 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 Oh no. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. sir, I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I'm assuming there's more than yeah. two buttons. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, you know, I had to get that. Now I can... Oh, okay. Did you hear it? Did you hear the, the Flintstones? have to know. Well, maybe he didn't. Maybe the composer has never heard of the Flintstones. Got it. Yeah, this is like pre-Breath of the Wild, so you gotta admit, Punky Skunk is partially responsible for Breath of the Wild, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah! Isn't that a nice screen to come back to every time you're loading a level? You could just see Punky Skunk just lay in some of his, his noxious fumes after a long night of White Castle. That's 
good stuff. What the fuck is this shit? Captain Flag, raise, raise lower. I, I, I guess. No, I don't. I don't. I don't really want to do this. Oh, it wants me to do this. It's like a Mario Party mini game. Then you are you skipping and I, I stop, stop. I keep looking at chat and pressing the button to skip the dialogue. <sighs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I know what to do. <laughs> I know what to do, I swear! Wait, way to slow the whole fucking game down, punky skunk. Yeah, Croc is... Croc is not happening. It It is, um... It's PS1, it's just not happening, sorry to say. I have to stop playing this game now because it is... horrendously boring. So boring. Let me take you back to the past now. Hi, I'm Alex Kidd. In quotation marks. I live on the planet Ares. My brother Igul is king. Frankly, my life was uneventful. But then you may be wondering how I got here, record scratch. King Thor, Planet Papercock. I'm. Um, let's just play the game, thanks. 1989, this is. Wait a minute, is this their proto. Like, is this their attempt at, at doing a mascot before Sonic? Oh. Yeah, I've heard of this. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, um... Duncan. Duncan. I like his eyes when he punch. Oh my god! Alex Kidd was only five years old! I can't fathom why this would have failed. And not overcome Mario. Be sure to have those lives. You could just, just take whole note what Mario does. And just... <laughs> and just get it in there, even if it doesn't fit. That's fine. Let's get them lives in there. He looks like a member of the monkeys. Wait a minute. Am I thinking about the banana splits? Because the Banana Splits was like a... Like a band of... Like dudes in costumes. Well, it's much more open-ended, like... If this is some kind of overworld, I'm not really sure. Yeah, that was pretty mental. I mean, controls are right. It's, you know, I can see people actually... Enjoying this. What was what there a child doing in there? The punch, you, you get like an extra. You know, if the punch just extended a little bit further, I would say it would be more useful. 
As it is, every time I punch something, I'm afraid I'm going to die. Speaking of... That was fine, I guess. But... It's no Sonic. Captain Novalin. Now, I remember this. This is actually often voted... When I was younger, I remember seeing this on a number of lists. As being one of the worst games... ...on the Super Nintendo. So, Captain Novalin is a game to teach you to take insulin if you're diabetic. And you fight sweets. But you know what he reminds me of? In terms of lame superheroes, he reminds me of something very interesting. I am getting to the point where I unironically like Rem Lazar's singing voice. From within your minds is a knowing time, and you know when you have some me. From another place, not from outer space, but from some place. That's not a real code, is it? Enter the code your doctor said is best for you. If you don't know your code, use 000. What the fuck are you talking about? You're Captain Novelin is a game that teaches you about diabetes, but remember, this game doesn't tell you how to manage your diabetes. Your doctor will tell you about your individual care. Warning, any change of insulin should be made cautiously and only under medical supervision. This just in, aliens have landed on way up there. They are disguised as sugary junk foods and have been ordered by Blubberman, the leader, to take over the Earth. They've captured Mayor Gooden of Pineville, who has enough diabetes supplies to last 48 hours. Someone must save him and the world from these evil invaders. This sounds like a job for yours truly, Captain Novelin. I, I, from the corner of my mind, I saw Jesus. Like, I was looking at chat and I thought, like, an image of Jesus popped up. It wasn't Jesus. Um, you need to check your blood sugar four times a day, but you can check it more often if you'd like. Huh? Are, are you- Wow. I want to put this face through the anime. I want to put every face through the anime. AI. There's milk. Oh, gotta watch out for donuts. You definitely don't want those. You can have a banana. Donuts are motherfuckers, though. And they have arms. Uh oh, sweets. Well, why do they have, like, big, naked, like, strong legs? This is the worst superhero of all time. He has no attacks whatsoever. Can't punch, can't kick, can't fly, can't shoot lasers from his eyes, can't use a- like a child laser. He jumps on enemies to attack? Oh. I mean, even Mario got a fire flower. Yet, this is probably the only superhero that ever actually really saved a, a real life in real- in the real world. You think about it. Nope, can't even jump on a donut. You just have to avoid. Which is teaching you a lesson. Did you see that soda? That soda looked, looked real anger.
A bottle of MPH insulin should be frozen. <laughs> I don't know. Carrots, grapes, tuna sandwich, glass of milk. The buildings in the back look like needles. Oh, they certainly do. Th that's a cookie? That is disgusting. Alright, well I guess I'm never eating a chocolate chip cookie again. When's the MCU gonna pick this dude up? They lost Spider-Man. But they can have someone... even greater. Someone who can go even higher. Did my... Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. My dude just died. He just... He just died! It was the diabetes. Here's the doctor put through the selfie anime. <laughs> it looks good! It looks really good, actually! Listen, I don't know how much I've learned. I appreciate the sentiment. It's nice in some ways, like, that they would try to make a game to help kids. It's just... It didn't really work, did it? We've, we and we've never seen this character ever again. Amen. Here is one that I've never played personally, but I know what it is, and I've seen it a million times. And this actually has a bit of a cult following. People still remember Glover. I've always said Glover, because Danny Glover. But then I realized that's Danny Glover. So, I, I mean, I don't know. Glove. And yes, I have heard a human being pronounce Glove as Glove. And I don't know if they were joking or not, but they said it. So, I'm just assuming that's how they say it. But, yeah, this game is actually pretty good. It's not a bad game, and it probably could have turned into something more. I mean, the idea of a glove with a ball is, is fine, I guess. <laughs> it's fine. And there's even a Captain America shield in the background. If I told you I was trying to spell glove and just horrendously fucked it up, would you believe me? Oh fuck, we missed the cutscene. Shit. Gotta reset. I think there might be a rewind, but I don't know what it's... Oh, it's too late now. Tried this again with friends a few weeks ago. Everyone loved watching it and hated playing it. Yeah, I've seen people stream this. I've seen videos about the game. I always thought, man, this looks kind of cool. Like, I probably would have liked this. I never played it as a kid. I never rented it. I feel like I could have enjoyed Glover. Please do a full playthrough of this if you enjoy it. <laughs> no, I'm good. Even if I enjoy it, I don't play no glove games. Ah! 
Did the story just skip anyway? You need to start a new game to see the cutscene. That's a, is that the Ocarina of Time bird and wind? Okay, let's see what's going on here. It's kind of a neat concept, I guess. Cutscene was a wizard making a potion. Yeah, I'm sure there's a million videos about Glover that you could watch that have the full story. There's a potion, it exploded, one of his gloves fell off, got evil, the other one landed outside. Yeah, I forget. Some YouTuber did a video about Glover and I watched it and I was like, oh, so that's what that was. I don't know how much I would actually enjoy playing this game, but... I gotta sh shoot the ball over, I guess. Nitro Red? Yeah, I think it was Nitro Red. So we got an Alpha Rad, a Nitro Rad. Is there a Beta Rad? Is there a Zeta Rad? Theta Rad? It, it turns out just a simple jump across a platform poses a challenge here in Glover. transform the ball into lighter or heavier objects. Oh, okay. Oh, it's backwards now. Oh, shit. Okay. Now it's a very small object. Still not good enough. What the fuck is this thing? Oh shit, it broke! Back to the beginning. And you can jump and throw? Yeah, this, this is a game that requires a lot of, um... You, you gotta, like, learn how to play the game. You can't just jump into it like me for the sake of a stream. I think you, you really need to spend some time... ...working through the... ...the controls. Vinny, sound is a little off-sync. Is it? Should I restart the stream? That's... Your voice is, like, two seconds off. Just your voice. Hang on a minute. Let me check something here. Check. Check. Ah! No! Ah! Sorry. You gotta make a weird loud noise to see exactly how off sync it is. Um. I like the concept of this game a lot. Like, you have to figure out how to do the stuff, and then you go through a bunch of levels that test how well you can do these things. And I'm sure there's a lot more to this game. Again, it's got a really... It's got a heavy cult following. I like that. I like when the little dude sits on the ledge like that. You see that? Vinny, talk to the blue hats. Yeah, these are the tutorial hats. I, I'm sorry, I can't learn how to play Glover right now. Um, I'm not going to attempt to play Glover. Because, clearly, I am not good enough to play Glover. 
But it is a very cute game, and I'd probably enjoy watching someone play this more than I would enjoy playing it myself. I know Jen likes the game a lot. So... You know, it's got fans. It's got fans. However, I'm good. I'm also going to restart the stream. Because the audio being off sync is a little annoying, so stick around. I will be back in 15 seconds. All right. Okay, I am back. It's been a long time. It's been over a year since I've been live. Here's the thing. It wasn't just one person. There were a lot of people saying that I was ahead of the stuff that I was saying. So hopefully this fixes it. it. Does happen from time to time. Here's a game, if it works, that I don't, I don't even know what the fuck this is. Again, have not heard of it. It's called Bubble and Squeak. And it's made by Sunsoft for the Genesis. Oh, Genesis. So it's young Carl Pilkington with a blue monkey. That's not really a monkey, is it? I don't know what that is. It, okay, Caillou. I didn't know Caillou had a video game. That's cool. Meats? Are those little meat worms? Well, I like the level. The level looks cool. Someone just said this is some Euro stank. <laughs> I like Euro stank as a word. Let me use that from time to time. Thank you. Yeah, the water is a little fucked. I wouldn't worry about it. So yeah, you throw stars. It's a very slow game, but it's it's pleasant, and the character isn't too big, so you're not getting, like, camera whiplash. I gotta say, one of the hardest things to get right about some of these platformers is the camera. Even for a 2D platformer like this, you would think it's... How hard could it be to fuck up a camera? Real easy to fuck up a camera. I kind of wish we could see a little bit more to the left or right of the character, but... Like, depending on what uh, direction you're facing. But at least it doesn't hurt, and it doesn't give you whiplash. However, the game itself is not terribly exciting. Maybe we have to go underwater? Yeah. I don't know what that blue lad is all about. Apparently I have, like, there's three lives in the top left there, right? So there's Caillou, and then there's the blue lad. I don't know. Is the blue lad a clown? It's like a, a clown monkey fella. This is just young, young Carl Pilkington with his talking monkey fella, invisible friend that he has. I swear there was a little monkey that I talked to when I was young. There he is. Oh, I get it. You have to rescue him. But how? There's a switch to the right. Is that what that is? Oh, gotta shoot it! You can't just jump onto it, you gotta shoot it. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Why oh, don't jostle me! Wait, did the monkey fella make the quack? Oh no, the enemy did. Okay. It's a cute little duck with a bat, why not? 
Oh, shit! Please don't start me back at the beginning of the level. Please don't start me at the back of the beginning of the level. No! Next. Kind of your standard fare. It wasn't that bad, though. Played way worse. Uh... Cute little meats and enemies like ducks. It's like a vine sauce. Spectacular. Things I like. Ducks and meat worms. The hell is this system? GameCube? Vinny, you might still be off audio-wise. Really? I guess restarting didn't do the trick then. Maybe refresh the page. It's either Japes or the person needs to just refresh their page. Alright. I got a GameCube game here. Just give me a second. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna play this. Uh, let me get my GameCube. Where is that GameCube? That wascally GameCube always off on on adventures. Here it is. Okay, let me open up the the disc tray here. There we go. Opened. All right, great. That is cool. Now I can play a GameCube game because I put the disc in. And this is a 2002 game. Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. It's going to be a little stanky. Well, everything loads. Vinny, this got four games. I don't think it's considered failed. Again, tomato, tomato. Okay, rem remember though, it doesn't mean that it's failed necessarily. It's a little bit of a blunt title. Like this, this got four games. It may not be around now, but it's still something that people, you know, think about and still people have memories for it. There's a lot of people in chat who are saying they're fond of this game. Apparently it's coming to the Switch. So let's go ahead and we'll just say uh, here. Let's just get the semantics out of the way for this one, shall we? Now, I've never played Ty. So I don't know what I'm in for here, but... Um, let's try you, mate. Good timing, Ross. Showing up at the right moment. Forgotten mascots? I'd call this a forgotten mascot, even though we're getting a new one. <laughs> the, the audio, the slowdown. I gotcha! I gotcha! Okay, in your I mind, mean, we can go we up can. high, but we know we're so high. Don't move, mate. I'll get help. Oh. 
Like, I wonder if that, like, epic jump across the canyon was in any way inspired by the Matrix, which was only three years before this, Don't because... be afraid, Ty. I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. What? Did I might? It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. I wonder if they're going to let me play the game. My dinosaur ancestors were here. <laughs> for a mammal opportunists. It's just, sh it's, sh it's stray, you know, um, Robotnik. Remember the comet! Oh, he's not straying at all. No! You mammals don't deserve to be at the top of the food chain! Like, no! He just doesn't like nature? The boomerang is a very powerful weapon. <laughs> I guess the game is over. I don't need to play it now. Never, never, never! <laughs> emu seems to be a speciesist who hates mammals. Vinny, there is an actual emu war in Australia. I've read about that. I can't believe how long this cutscene is. Those brave few who challenged Boss Cass were trapped in the dreaming. Mom? Dad? Boss Cass? Word oh, Ca it was a cassowary. Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. Jaja! Ja. We se gonna go! It's up to you to find the talismans before he does. It's up to me to save my family. Oi, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? Oh, I'm glad to see you. Oh, you're never going to believe what just uh, happened. I, 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 I was playing in the forest when the ground it's all the way on the side of his through. face all the Sounds way back. Like you've got a fair dinkum adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching the footy. But I tell you what. The you footy. do the adventure and I'll help you out where I can. From within your mind there's a going time where you know it's time to go. From within your heart, we're gonna start and take it even higher. Welcome to Rainbow Cliffs, mate. By the way, whenever you see one of these signs, I won't be far away. I've heard that if you press the action button, you can talk to me, whatever that means. Okay, now let's, if you're gonna... Alright, I just want to see what the game is like. Well, these are the best visuals we're going to have tonight. The beginning of this game is so 2002, it's amazing. So you got long cutscene, you got some Matrix in there. Oh, it's great. It's just unnecessary, but, you know, it's a big budget game. Vinny, they have mouths on both sides of their mouths. Wait, do both mouths talk? Oh, I don't like it. How- it must be difficult to eat. Like, what could you do? Like, you could, like, insert a hot dog in one side and out the other, and then, like, just, like, like, inhale it. Now the mouth opens. I can do some different attacks here. Kind of reminds me of, um, Majora's Mask a little bit. That. Just that thing.
like when you you shoot the the bubble. G'day, Julius. Now, if I just reroute these wires to, I said g'day, mate. I is death. Oh goodness graces me! Oh, I didn't see you there. Ty was funded I by the Australian some government. Minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. G'day. So, you old coot, <laughs> what's this contraption do? <laughs> this contraption is the key to hey, finding cunt. the talisman. G'day, cunt. Why is this so? It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals Oi, that cunt. match the unique power matrix Get of in the, the fucking talisman. portal, mate. Huh? Like a big nose that sniffs them out. Oh. Ah. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. Oh. It acts, and that. A lot of them. Jesus, have there's a lot of this. Found. The trick will be convincing the locals. I'm looking to, to see if that's true. Possessions. That it was funded by the Australian government. That. If you're as resourceful as they Developers say, of Ty, Chrome Studios. I'm sure you'll think of something. Right, Ty, That's fucking horseshit. No point in that was horseshit. You've got. Oh. What a what a weird little this gem. Billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty to do here. Koala. So let's get a move on. I, its mouth makes me irrationally angry. Listen, mate. I solved your problem. I found you a second boomerang. That's great. Where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah? Well, it's not there. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> right. Well, where is it? It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. Oh, great. No, oh, don't worry. You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. There's mecha fights Look, in Tai 2. Life wasn't meant to be easy. Of course, you gotta get didgeridoos in there. You have to. It's a staple. It's it's a little fast and loose the way it plays, but um not bad so far. I don't know. I mean, there's there's definitely a triple A you know stank over this game. Are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used it's Australian Metal Gear. You spend more time watching a parrot speak to you than you do playing. Woke up back on the dunny, which was the best place to be given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space time. Metal Gear. But if you ask me, <laughs> like to apologize to all the Australians. So you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these. Something like the checkpoints are toilets. It's an ant house, mate. I apologize, then I just do the same thing again. Good music. Ruth, I reckon you could put them. Have a go. Crate destroying master. Now, 
I was speaking to a bloke down the local <laughs> waterhole, and he reckons you can use your rangs to take care of enemies and smash things. You ripper! He said something now, wait a minute, he said something about pressing the throw button to use them. The hell is that thing? It honestly, looks like the controls are a bit too tight. Looks like the PC doesn't uh, conserve any momentum at all. Does it feel like that for you? They, yeah, there's no real momentum here. I mean, you slide a little bit, it, but it's not... It's hard to explain. It feels artificial. It's The controls are definitely... doable so far. I wouldn't know, and like, you know, if you had to do some really serious platforming, I'm not sure how it would work, but... I've played way worse right off the top. I can say that this is playable. It's no Mario, but, you know, it's hard to get to that level of polish. So yeah, it's a little fast and the momentum feels a little weird, but overall, yeah, I can see why people like this. I just wonder, you know, where the, the good stuff is. Have it easy these Might days. take a while for me to find you the good stuff. Get and... You get upgrades later on, so it gets more interesting. I don't know if it's true, but I heard about this bloke who found 300 opals, then took them to Julius's. The opal good stuff machine. comes when you start getting into rang upgrades. Right, eh? Right, eh? I can't help but be taken by its charm, though. I, I kind of love it, in some ways. What the fuck are these things? These, oh, security cameras? I thought they were turrets. Oh, 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 cool! The die. <laughs> I want to hear... I want to hear Ty do Australianisms. After getting a pickup, a collectible. Peace off. That's New Zealand? Oh, sorry. Wait, Australians don't say piss off? Fucking diabolical. If a New Zealand says piss off, then no one else can say it. Just remember. Sorry is Canada, not New Zealand. Okay. We're done here. Very banjo kazooie. Well, I mean, that was a fucking banjo, so of course. But yeah, this is pretty good. I can see why people like this, and with the upgrades and more of its charm. I like that lock on bite. What the fuck was that? Hmm. Yes. Yes. Vinny, you're mixing in New Zealander yes. with Australian and Cockney. I know. Can I, Julius? I'm, I'm a dumb... Oh, I'm a dumb. You, you know this golden cog just might be perfect for my latest invention. The Cogulacious Boomerangulus Extrapolator. Right, what's that? Why, it's a machine that creates experimental... Apparently this game is better than ukulele. I need golden huh. cogs to build a new one. Fifteen to be exact. And if you find enough, bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs and I'll build you a new boomerang. You're on, mate. I love that. What is going on with that? Mate.
All right, I'm gonna say that this is the best game I played today, probably. And I played a couple good ones. There's some, uh, you know, some good ones. Uh, Vector Man comes to mind as a favorite, but this is the best failed mascot. Easily. Here's the problem. I'm still going to leave the segment name as Failed Mascots. Because, well, the character isn't on the tip of everybody's tongues. Technically, every fucking mascot failed, except, like, Mario and Sonic. Like, what mascots are around that are still getting regular releases that aren't struggling? You know what I mean? Like, does Zelda, does that count as a mascot? Well, you got Kirby, Bubsy, oh god, Bubsy's back. Shantae, does that count? I don't know. It's hard to say. What is a mascot? Spyro and Crash are back with remakes. Um, you know, so there's, there's. I mean, people are saying Captain Falcon. What? Conquer. I mean, Conquer is a failed mascot at this point. And I love Conquer. Conquer is one of my favorite fucking games. So, I don't know. This failed mascot thing is weird. I kind of almost regret calling the segment failed mascots. Uh... But it's just kind of how it happened. There's a lot of semantics here. There's a lot of nuance. And I'm not really handling it well. So deepest apologies. Uh, also, this collection was made by Awesome Ace Z. Once again. Failed does not equal bad. Good point. See, that is a good way to uh, phrase that. And frame it, rather. So, yeah. These are pretty good, some of them. Why don't we now check out something not so good something a little bit worse truth is i have no idea if this is worse it's called wild woody It's just one that I didn't recognize. Why is Chad exploding? Is Woody a penis? What the hell is this? That sounds really good for Sega. Well, well Genesis. Genesis. What? Nintendo Genesis. I like this. Ow. Oh, it's the CD audio. Okay. This looks like that weird pencil thing that I've shown on stream several times. It's like a pencil gif. Apparently there's Robertsons in this game? What? There is uncensored porn in this with a cheat code. No meme. Man, it's good to be home. What do you mean, uncensored porn? As you're right. What do you mean, Des? Hey, Dusty! Hey, just wanted to thank you again for pulling us out of that Aztec tomb! Hey, listen, that guy that had his spear on my shorts almost got me! You saved our skins, pal! Take Wild care. Woody Dusty, porn. Why am I Googling this? Watch Wild Woody on Pornhub. Wild Little Mermaid gets fucked senseless, part one. There's no rest for the weary. Dusty, this is Sandra over at Anthro. I just translated the tablet nope. describing that totem you picked nope, up. Nope, nope, now nope, nope, nope. If the spirits of the totem are freed, each one creates a parallel universe that could devour the world. Your standard chaos doom, end of the world story. Lucky for us, though, its uh, power can only be released on the third Wednesday in July under a full moon during a snowfall. <laughs> this stuff killed Oh my god. Me. Anyway, that's all for now. Oh, and uh, don't forget the charity ball next week. It's real. Whoa! 
What the fuck oh, is happening in this guy? Take him back. <laughs> Looks like those jerks are loose again. <laughs> now I gotta find me some muscle to bring him back. <laughs> Chunks. Mm, not much to work with here. Say, now that one's got potential. Wake up, pal. You and me got work to do. <laughs> Big fella, you got a name, Leadhead. Call me Woody. Wild Woody. Oh my God. I know my name, but it seems that's all I know. Wait, let me explain. I'm Low Man of the Totem Pole. My fat head totem brothers have escaped my control. This looks like I when you fuck with you the sliders to too much in Oblivion. Round them up. If you don't get them back, they'll wipe out everything. So, what do you think? Think you can save the world? My good man, as of 15 seconds ago, I was born to save the world. I, I like that Where the polygons are just Wait, clipping into each other. Book. Jump in after him and look for sketches in there. Any sketch you draw will come to life. Now go! See you in a jet, little boy. It's time to start sketching! You know, <laughs> I don't know if I can show this. Like, I... I kind of want to show you the the thing, but I hmm. Well, I mean, it's a mermaid. It's a topless mermaid. M maybe I could get like a censored version of it. Just because, you know, the, I don't want the Twitch to do the bad. I don't know. How about this? I'll show you a little bit of it. I can show you a little bit. Just so you know it's real, because this is ridiculous. That this would be in the game. Okay, you ready? Now, you can imagine what's a little lower. That's in this game. Why would Sega do that? They knew what they were doing. In my opinion, Sega knew exactly what they were doing. It's a cheat code. But, you know, it's going to get people talking like, Yo, Wild Woody's got, like, boobies in it. And then, like, everyone at the schoolyard is going to get Wild Woody. And then they're just going to be like, Wow, this game is fucking terrible. So, yeah, so this game is not good <laughs> already. I can just... I can... It just feels cheap. Um, and stiff. Like a Woody. So you just rub your ass on everything? Swim up. Woody, please. Where the fuck did this game come from? Like, I thought I... I thought I would have heard of the Robertson games. It's weird. Hell? Yeah, that's one, one way to phrase it. Okay. Vinny, if you could DM me that mermaid video, I'd appreciate that a lot. I can't. I gotta be honest, I can't. I can't do that. No, I can't do that. I can't get you that link. But if you just type Wild Woody Pornhub, <laughs> you're not gonna get the link you want. I promise. I absolutely promise. You're gonna get something much more disgusting. Wild Woody cutscenes. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check out some of these cutscenes on YouTube. Just a couple of them. Because I don't feel like playing the rest of this game. The game is not good. It's not very fun. And like I said, it's got some wonky mechanics. Like even just erasing 
the enemies with your ass. It's not particularly fun to do. I've been shanghai by a darn splinter! Alright! My creative juices are blowing now! Who's oh, who Brimstone? thought this shit was a good idea, though? Picture. It used to be a great painting. Now you're looking at Olympus, home of the gods. Arr. Get personal? Ugh. Orbit ran off into that book. What's that? No problem for me, boss. You're saying lead fool. There's attitude. My in oh every frame. My. Time to earn my pay! Oh, oh, that was close. What? Oh. Go get him, leadhead! I mean, to be fair, there are not many video games in 1995 that had good voice acting. Okay. Here's the space cadet. Or any voice acting. Like, barely. This is pretty innovative for its time. It's just, it's painful to look at and listen to. Okay, now this is the first boss theme. Apparently, they spent more time on the music and the crusty cutscenes than they did making the game fun, but I have to say this is this is amazing. Jump and you'll be busy enough with the cannonballs are dropping and the parrot eggs are popping. You can jump over the fire and the ropes can take you higher. But the only way to win is to complete what you begin. So bring it back, bring it back. Yo. Bring it back, y'all. Please don't attack the head. Bring it back, bring what it back. What the hell? Oh, bring it back, y'all. Bring no me back the head. Bring it back, bring it back. Oh, bring it back, y'all. Bring it back, yo! This is like pre Limp Park Biscuit. Limpkin Park Biscuit. Yo, ho, ho, and if I got anything to do with it, you'll never get to level two with it. Cause a rule with it, you're a oh fool with it, and I'm cool with it. <laughs> give it up, just give it up. It's a dangerous mission, a precarious position in the front and back on the constant attack from buccaneers, oh. privateers. Profit you without fear? The air is thickened with debris, and mutiny is here. Yo, Yo ho, chaos in a hole on a sinking ship. Okay, I've had enough of that. Let's let's keep moving. Uh, I got a couple more I'd like to show you. There's going to be a part three of this. There's going to be a part three. There's going to be just stuff I missed, but um, yeah, there's just no end to failed and forgotten mascots, I guess. This one's called Clockwork Night, and it is our first Sega Saturn game. I don't know anything about this game at all. I hope no one comes to this stream high. Yeah, that's more horrifying than most horror games I've played, where they try too hard to scare you. That was just unsettling. I don't know. Toy Story? Shantae. Also, this almost sounded like Mario Odyssey's theme song. Mr. Potato Head, uh, 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 Don Quixote? What the fuck is happening? A 
I'm not skipping this. We're watching this whole goddamn thing. <laughs> I just love that this game has a music video. Wow. Who is the most skillful? Who wins the heart of the princess? Not you. I'm guessing that's the titular clockwork night. Speaking of, hopefully there's no titulars in this game, like the previous game. Because I, I would very much like for my Twitch to not get banned. But you never know, maybe there's a cheat code. Still going? So we've established the character, a lovable loser. We've established the world. We've established the threat. I mean, it did what it had to do. And even the tone of the game, to some extent. Now watch it be a puzzle game. This could be anything. Oh, okay, it's it's a 2D platformer, but on a... It's a 3D platformer on a 2D plane. Yeah, the 2.5D, sure. That's alright. to swack some clowns. That's cool, I guess. Controls are not... Again, they're not Donkey Kong Country Returns. They're not Mario. They're not really... amazing, but they're, they're doable. It's a little slow, but... You know, and again, the momentum isn't really held, but it's pretty good. I guess I would have enjoyed playing this if I had a Saturn and someone gave this to me for my birthday. I would have, I would have played it. Looks nice, too. Kind of. Alright, so take a close look at Clockwork Knight. Oh, you can run by double tapping. So take a close look. And now, in your mind, think Skinny Wario. Congratulations, Clockwork Knight will never be the same. Oh, I missed! I regret that one. That didn't even sound like what it was supposed to sound like. That was terrible. <laughs> Never make that noise again. Deal. Deal. Excellent! I'll do that one. That's it. That's it. That's all I got. My mind is replacing that R with a C. It's like I, I'm seeing it, but I'm no, I know what's there, but my mind is, is playing tricks on me. Someone in chat just said this music is exhausting. Yeah, I, I can, I can kind of see that. 
It's like just maximum fun energy at all moments. But then again, if you listen to some of Mario's music, it, it has a similar quality. I don't hate this. This is another pretty decent game that was just hidden, lost to time. Yeah, the music is definitely grating at times, but I, I like it. The whole package here, the whole presentation. I even like that you get to, like, stab with a key. It's kind of cool. And if you just keep pressing the button, you can do a wind-up animation. This game was pretty huge, it even got a sequel. Hmm. Yeah, I've never heard of it. But I can see why it was big, if it was. I just, I hadn't, you know, again, my, my Sega is super limited. Uh, Alright, here's one pretty close to where I live. Alright. Let me show you. You gotta respect the paper. Probably do one or two more for the night, and then uh, part three will be all the leftovers. Including um, the ones that I missed the first time around. We'll just scoop them all up and we'll do uh, sloppy thirds. Vinny, is Billy Hatcher in there somewhere? No, but I have a demo of Billy Hatcher. An actual demo disc. Maybe we can get it for next time. Billy Hatcher was cool. Joycey Town. Okay, some animation. Oh, oh, cool. This is 3D, yeah. This is a PS1 game, and it's making good use of that disk space. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it, man. Doctor, doctor. Oh, Dennis, how many times have I told you? But, 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 <laughs> look what I found. I hope for you it's not another rat, Dennis. I swear it's not. Have you been hanging oh, around my swamp lately, Dennis? <laughs> now, let's see what is this. Ooh. It's a mix of Dr. Wily and Shrek. Puppy. This voice. Gucci, Gucci. And even what the character. A cute little devil. It's too bad we're going to have to cut it into teeny weeny little pieces. In the name of science, of course. <laughs> ah! Whoa. You sinful brain. That was my last blade. I hope you understand what this means. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right, all right. Oh no, Nanny Chin! <laughs> <laughs> it gets banished to the rain room. Blades. I need to get blades for my scalpel. Now wait here, little cabbage. This accent is even more inconsistent than my own accents. Vinny, this game is actually good. You should play it all the way. Now, I appreciate the sentiment. I've seen that message, though, like, for almost every game I've played tonight. I'd be streaming for the next 10 years just what's on this list.
Again, so many of these games start with like these crazy cutscenes to establish a story, and then it's just like you jump on the enemy's head and then you go right. Jersey City? Hey, <laughs> I like Jersey City. That's pretty cool. There's a barcade in Jersey City. A wave of fear washes out over the city as unidentified terrorists continue to abduct innocent victims. Some witnesses describe these criminals as mutant vegetables. AIA agents claim it could very well be another outburst of collective paranoia, similar to the one in 1957, <laughs> concerning the now legendary Jersey Devil. Hmm? Also in the Jersey Is that a area, real police bit of lore there? For the evil Dr. Nar, mad In southern New Jersey and Philadelphia folklore, the Jersey Devil is a legendary creature said to inhabit the Pine Barrens of South Jersey. Okay, so there's a bit of an uh, error here. Music is fucked. What I think you think can do. High pitched, blood curdling scream. 1735 might be the first reported instance of the Jersey Devil. Um, there's just so much lore for this fucking thing. 1951, a group from Gibbs Town, New Jersey boys claimed they saw it. Oh no. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> this is even worse than the monkey game. I'll only play it for a minute. Hey, we watched a giant cutscene. So, I mean... Okay, music seems to be a little bit better. Alright, um, well, for PS1, this looks pretty, pretty decent, and, um, very Crash bandicoot -y. but, um, here's the thing. I don't know if the game has analog support. The buttons I'm pressing don't appear to do anything. Um, so I'm using the D-pad to move forward. Oh no. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's common for PS1. The DualShock support came later, but... I like the vibe of the game. Um, kind of reminds me of the spooky area in Banjo-Kazooie, which I very much liked. Those are usually my favorite levels in platformers. Like the ghost house in Mario 64, or rather the, um, the carousel level. And, um, what, what was it called? Mad Monster Mansion. There you, there you go. I was going to call it Massacre Mansion. That is the exact sound effect from Crash Bandicoot. I like punching pumpkins in the face, that's cool. Kind of very limited controls, but... The artist who did the animation did Crash too. Oh. <laughs> I 
What's wrong, chat? The, the music not cutting it for you? Oh, oh, there's a push function. Alright, I think I've had enough. I get it. I understand it a little bit. It's... yeah. It's kind of like a collectathon, but not not like Crash, more like Mario 64. There's Babkins, there's Blapkins, there's zombies, there's ghouls, there's fools. Yeah, it's fine. I don't, I don't know if this is considered to be a good game, I can't really tell. And I don't want to tell because this music bug is killing me, but more so than that, I, it, the controls are not doing it for me. That's the main issue. It's kind of... it's functional, but not fun. It, it, it takes the fun out of the word functional, I'll say that. But... that's alright, I guess. It's like kind of right in the middle there. From what I can tell, and that's a very early impression. Remember, a lot of what I'm saying is, is very, very... Um, basic impressions from the beginning of the game, which, you know, for me, I've been playing a lot of beginnings of a lot of games for years now. So, I can get a pretty decent idea of whether or not I want to play the full game based on just the first five minutes. Because if the first five minutes are painful, then I probably don't want to spend another five hours with it. That said, sometimes that, that stuff can change and a game can be better the longer it goes on. And, um, well, overall, that was just kind of mediocre for me. I'm going to end with Cool Spot. This is a game I have some experience with. And I think this has even been on the stream at some point in the past. Cool Spot is a Super Nintendo game. And I rented this probably like twice. I liked Cool Spot. <laughs> he had sunglasses. Wait, what the hell? I'm con I'm controlling the logo. This was on Genesis as well. Got Wipeout? Did they license Wipeout? Oh, it sounds awful. Oh, those are some dudes. The Genesis version is better. Well, I remember renting this once or twice. It probably just the one time. But I remember, I remember liking the animation. This was Seven Up. Yeah, Seven Up, right? It wasn't Sprite. It's another one of those, um, this is something I discussed more in detail in the first failed mascot stream. Where, you know, the character's real big and they focus more on the animations than maybe the gameplay. And it just, the camera just whips all over the fucking place. Get down there eventually. There we go. But yeah, you can shoot. There is a time limit. Um, I'm only 22% cool, though. So 7-Up doesn't use Cool Spot anymore at all, right? Like, that's just done? Cool Spot is probably the laziest mascot that ever got its own game. I mean... You're not wrong. It's it's just a red spot. It's a red circle. It's a red disc with sunglasses and legs and arms. Vinny, there's a delay on your voice still, like a second. Yeah, I can't fix that. Sorry. Pac-Man is also a ye yellow circle. 
Pac-Man needed to be a yellow circle because of the technology limitations. I feel. That's my thoughts on that. That's my Sharona on that. Seven Up is just a lazy logo when you think about it. Yeah, pretty much. Well, here's the thing, though. This is not that terrible. But again, it suffers from a lot of the stuff that a lot of the, the shittier mascots suffer from. Like I said, it's just style over substance. And the gameplay suffers, and I don't know. I don't think I really like this very much. I probably liked it way more as a kid. And again, when you really don't have a lot of games to choose from, and you're sick of playing the same games over and over and over again, anything will do. And if you rent, it's only five bucks. So you make the best out of it, but... Yeah, you just look, look at all these, like, these enemies. You, like, you just jump, and then you land on an enemy. It's like you're not really given a whole lot of warning, because you jump and the camera's just like, Oh, we'll go up with you! We're going up with you! Oh, oh, sorry, did you land on an enemy? Fuck you. Alright, well, part three incoming at some point. Um, I can get Croc working for next time. I can try to get Billy Hatcher. Um, we can take a look at Tempo 32X. We can take a look at uh, Super Bonk. Uh, Ka Cow KO the Kangaroo. I'd never heard of that. I heard of Ty, but not KO the Kangaroo. Several Australian mascots, huh? Um, and then the first folder, I still have... Hang on a minute. A bunch of any uh, a Super Nintendo and Genesis games, maybe a couple NES games, I'm not sure. You know what? There were no NES games included in this collection, weirdly enough. But, like, Prehistoric Man, um, Super Widget, Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel, what the fuck? Plock? I'll modify the logo next time so it'll say failed or forgotten mascots. Do you wear wigs? Uh, no, I do not. Have you worn wigs? No, I have not. Will you wear wigs? Maybe. When will you wear wigs? <laughs> I love Elijah's reaction to that so much. <laughs> <laughs>